what we've got here is a speckled king snake. And the speckled king snake, it's not a native snake, but there are king snakes around. And the king snake is known as the king snake because he eats other snakes. He is immune to rattlesnake venom. That's one important fact. So if a rattlesnake were to bite him, it would be easy for him to shrug that off and be able to um, turn around and eat him. One of his favorite things is eating other snakes and toads and rats and mice and frogs and fish and lizards and all kinds of stuff. This is a very, very wide variety in his diet. One neat thing about him is his, is his pattern, and his pattern makes it tough for predators to see him. If he were to bunch himself up and start crawling against his, his own skin, slithering against his own skin like that, that makes kind of an optical illusion for a predator to be able to not see uh, the animal itself. So snake's gonna be on the ground, moving around against his own body, and it'd be tough for a predator to be able to see um, um, what's head and what's tail. He finds his food, of course, with his tongue. His tongue flicks in and out, and everything that's in the air that's got a smell leaves particles behind, and he picks those particles up with his tongue. His tongue is so close to his brain that his brain just tells him what it is that he's tasted. And that's a really neat way to be able to find your food. He's one of our many snakes that we've got here that, that was a pet and uh, makes a really good animal for, um, for programming. And you can see how calm he is in the hand. He's really calm.